Now at 11, looking for the holiday Scrooge who apparently stole several Christmas trees right from a Boy Scout fundraiser in Hamden. Yeah, this is really awful. When they opened for business on Wednesday, they discovered the trees were missing. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards caught up with the Boy Scouts tonight. That Grinch stole five trees from the Boy Scouts here at the Mount Carmel Congregational Church. But the Boy Scouts we spoke to say they won't let this ruin their Christmas. I can't believe they stole from the Boy Scouts sort of doesn't really make sense why I'd go out of your way to steal a tree. Every Boy Scout in Hamden likes Christmas a lot, but the Grinch who stole their Christmas trees apparently did not. It's unfortunate because, you know, if somebody wanted a tree, we would have just given it to them. But it hurts us because we can't make as much profit so we can do more stuff as a unit. Money from the trees goes to equipment, camps, and even a trip, all things that help the Boy Scouts gain membership. Uh, a couple months ago, we went uh, whitewater rafting up in Massachusetts, and because of the Christmas tree sale last year, we had enough money to actually do it this year. We're planning to do like new trips. Probably, we, if I remember correctly, we we're planning to go to Pennsylvania. Now to raise money lost from their stolen trees, they'll be holding breakfast yeah, with Santa. They ask that you come if you please. The community has been supportive. Um, it's actually very heartwarming, so I'm hoping that a negative turns into a positive. Discovering the stolen trees made them feel awful with dread, but the Boy Scouts in Hamden chose holiday cheer instead. Uh, you know, it's Merry Christmas, so I'm not going to get too, you know, too caught up in this, and I'm just going to move forward, and, and the troops going to move forward. We're going to be okay. Can't keep a Boy Scout down. The Boy Scouts will be holding that breakfast with Santa here at the Mount Carmel Congregational Church at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Reporting in Hamden, Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.